This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we return to my conversation with the legendary British singer-songwriter Billy Bragg, I asked him about the 1984 miners' strike in Britain. I'm, in a very, I'm one of those people who was born in a very fortunate time when I, you know, my parents' generation and my grandparents' generation fought very hard for uh, a welfare state in my country in which the rights of the individual were underpinned by the collective provision of free health care, free education, decent affordable housing, proper pensions. And that was, you know, that's what we refer to as in my country as the post-war consensus. Parties came and went, Labour, Conservative, Liberal, nobody ever changed that until Margaret Thatcher came along. And she uh, decided that um, it would be better to have, uh, to pay less taxes. So she uh, she began to uh, take apart the welfare state and that provision, and the government owned the coal mines. And although there was uh, plenty of coal under our country, she began to close them down. So they went on strike, and uh, really that the strike became a defence of that welfare state, of those ideals of uh, uh, um, collective responsibility, collective provision, and. As a singer-songwriter who'd grown up listening to Bob Dylan and Woody Guthrie and The, and the Clash, it, it seemed to me that my place was to be, you know, there on the picket line playing songs. And it was interesting because it was a bit of an education for me because I didn't, like I said, I didn't go to college, so I didn't know a huge amount about socialism. So it was a very steep learning curve. They wanted to know why this pop singer from London had come up to, to the coal fields, sitting up late at night on sofas with people, drinking cups of tea, smoking cigarettes, talking about politics. And uh, so, yeah, I can tell you that my the great inspiration in my politics was Margaret Thatcher. Were it not for her, I probably wouldn't be a socialist. Um, there's power in a union? Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, there's power in a union <laughs> takes its title from a, a, a song by Joe Hill, the great Swedish-American uh, uh, union songwriter from the, the first decades of the 20th century. But it takes its tune from an old American song called uh, The Battle Cry of Freedom, sometimes known as Rally Round the Flag. But the good news is that that tune for that song was actually stolen from an English hymn. So I'm kind of sort of culturally repossessing it, you could say. <laughs> Democracy Now!